Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSG Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 16 Linear in Equations Exercise 16B Question 3. This is find the solution set for each of the following inequalities, right? So we have to find the solution set for each of the following inequalities. First of all, we have these inequations or inequality, whatever you want. We have to solve them. After solving them, there is a condition given. You can see uh, where x is a square number. So this condition, according to this condition, we have to make their solution set. Solution set is what? It contains the solution of the your x of the inequality, right? So see, we have x minus 8. Now, minus 8 I want to get rid of, right? Because I want x on one side separately. So what I will do? Plus 8, right? And is less than 30 also plus 8 here. So you have x minus 8 plus 8 is less than 30 plus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 cancels, right? x is less than 38. x is less than 38. Now, you have to make this solution set also, which will be what? See, we have to choose a square number. What are square numbers? Square numbers are those numbers which are the square of right they are the square of any number like 2 square that is 4 so the the are they, they are called your square numbers and i'll begin with the smallest one square of 1 is 1 square of 2 is 4 square of 3 is 9 square of 4 is 16 square of 5 25 and square of your 6 36 close that's it and it is less than 38 so i cannot take square of 7 that is 49 if i will write here 49 that will become wrong it will be more than 38 so we've got 1 4 9 16 25 and 36 this is your solution set let's move on to the next part now next we have 17 x is less than or equal to 119 where x is a positive odd number it's a positive odd number and the inequality is given to us we have 17 x is less than or equal to 119 now in this i have to make something so that x stays alone what i will do is i will divide x by 17 so this can cancel it out 17 17 will cancel each other right so one is left x here and 119 also i can cancel by your this only 17 why so that i am left with your uh, this uh, 7 on this side Right, so what you will have, see, 17, 17 will cancel, 17, 119 will cancel and this will go 7 times by 17 or, and over here we are left with x on this side less than equal to and here we are left with 7. x is less than equal to 7 and your solution set, right? Solution set will become what? We have got positive odd number positive number means numbers greater than zero so begin first odd number is what one second odd number is what three third odd number is what five another odd number that is after five is seven we can take seven because it is less than or equal to seven so all the numbers here are less than seven and also seven itself is also there and they are positive odd numbers that's your answer let's move on to the next part now see here we have the next one that is z upon 4 is less than 10 again i have to get rid of this 4 so it is in the denominator and i have to get rid of the 4 so what i will do i will divide uh, i will multiply it by 4 like this it is so i will multiply it by 4 so z upon 4 into 4 and same thing i will do on the other side also 4 and 4 will cancel z is less than 10 into 4 40 solved in one step now make the solution set right so your solution set will become what you're gonna have again begin so you're going to start from see it is a positive integer divisible by 5 positive integers that are divisible by 5 that means 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and so on it is there so first of all we'll begin with the smallest one we have got here first number as 5 5 is divisible by 5 after 5 what is divisible by 5 10 after 10 we have got 15 then 20 then 25 then 30 then 35 
and we cannot take 40 why because it is less than 40 it is not less than or equal to 40 so we are going to have to stop here itself that's your solution set 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 let's move on to the next one now see the next in equation we have got here 2x plus 15 is less than or equal to 51 uh, sorry not 15 51 so we have 51 here and the condition is where x is a positive integer divisible by both 2 and 3 so see first what will i do is 2x plus 15 is there i will get rid of the 15 so minus 15 and same thing on the other side also so 2x plus 15 minus 15 cancels okay less than equal to will stay here as it is 51 minus 15 is your 36 so here we're going to have 36 now next step is you can see this put the equal signs also so 2x is less than equal to 36 now we're going to divide this i want to get rid of this 2 from x right so i will do 2x and divide it by 2 right i'm not doing 2x minus x because that will put x here also which which we don't want now 2x upon 2 is less than equal to and then 36 upon 2 here as well so 2 and 2 cancels 2 and 36 also cancels 18 times so you are left with x is less than equal to 18 so what your solution set will become see your this what do you call this solution set so it is saying that x is a positive integer so we are dealing with positive integers only but these numbers are divisible by both 2 and 3 any number that is divisible by 2 and 3 will also be divisible by 6 right because 6 is the lcm of 2 and 3 keep that in mind so that means if the, the you know 6 is divisible by 2 and 6 is divisible by 3 also so any number 2 will divide and 3 both will divide that will be divisible by 6 so we will look at the numbers divisible by 6 and which are positive positive integers and less than or equal to 18 first will be 6 itself second will be 12 and third will be 18 that's it 6 is divisible by your 2 also 6 is divisible by 3 also 12 is also divisible by 2 12 is also divisible by 3 so and same for 18 18 is also divisible by 2 and 3 both so that's your solution set let us move on to the next part now next part is 5x minus 17 is less than or equal to 28 5x minus 17 and plus 17 here so is less than equal to 28 plus 17 here also right so plus 17 minus 17 will cancel each other we're going to have 5x is less than equal to 28 plus 17 that's your 45 okay so 5x will divide it by 5 is less than equal to 45 i will also divide it by 5 so 5 and 5 will cancel 45 5 will cancel each other 1 and 9 times x is less than equal to 9 so that is your solution but what is given here where x is an integer greater than 4 greater than 4 so we have to choose an integer greater than 4 greater than 4 integers are 5 6 7 8 9 and so on but we need only till your 9 so see your solution set that you're going to draft this will be what we're going to have here first of all greater than 4 so we're going to have 5 we're going to have 6 then 7 then 8 and less than equal to 9 means that 9 will also come okay and close it here so that is your answer let's move on to the next part now last one is the sixth part this is we have we have got here m plus 2 plus 6 and is less than 11 so what i'll do i'll subtract 6 from here and 6 from here as well so we'll, we're going to have m upon 2 and then plus uh, 6 minus 6 will cancel each other so m upon 2 is less than 11 minus 6 that's your your uh, 5 okay m upon 2 is less than 5 now m upon 2 into 2 is less than 5 into 2 right so this 2 this 2 will cancel so what i'm left with m is less than 5 into 2 10 so m is less than 10 and what is your condition saying that where x is not a 
where m is not a prime number right so your solution set will become what see prime number we will begin with your this uh, one right so we're gonna have what one one is neither prime nor composite then two is prime three is also prime right four is not a prime number five is prime number six is also not a prime number and seven is again prime eight we can take and nine also we can take and it is less than 10 so we cannot take 10 so that's your solution set one four six eight nine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye